I have just come out of the cinema, I've got home and I've seen Deadpool and Wolverine and it is incredible. But to tell you why it's incredible would be spoiler, 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 spoiler everywhere. And I don't want to do that. I want you guys to enjoy it. I don't want anyone to be spoiled. <sighs> Should we talk about it? Wolverine, say your thing. Let's go. Before I even got it into the cinema, I saw these and I was like, oh my God. So my, my, I've got a Limitless card from Odeon and I walked into Odeon and I saw these. These are the merch they've got. It's got the Wolverine and Deadpool pictures on the side. Now this Deadpool cup though. This this is quality. I tell you, this is this is real, real quality. We can lift that up there. Real good quality for a cinema cup. Anyway, that's not why you're here. That's not why you're here. But GG's Odeon on getting these. Where do I start? What I'm gonna say, guys, is that intro, the intro scene is incredible and it is well worked and it does everything justice to what it is aimed at. <laughs> That's all I can say. Man, this is so hard. Imagine having a film like this with everything that's going on with it and we don't get one cameo no 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 so that's not a spoiler guys that's not a spoiler there is cameos in it but i'm not going to tell you who they are um you guys are gonna to have to watch you're gonna to have to enjoy you're gonna to have to react as well i don't even want to say the word cameos so there's a lot of things that people wanted and there's a lot of things that we got that is all i'm gonna say but I'm also going to say, on top of that, I got something extra. Me personally, massive fan of all these Marvel films. Me personally got one extra thing that I thought would never, ever happen. So I didn't even have it in the back of my mind that it was going to happen in this film. <laughs> Man, I am so glad it happened. But the story, storyline, genuinely, genuinely works. The trailer lead you into one way and what's what this story does is we're obviously focusing on Deadpool and Wolverine but they've both got their reasons why they are fighting for what they are fighting for so Wolverine we all seen in the trailers he's wearing this suit and we're all wondering why why is he wearing this suit this is his comic accurate suit. Why hasn't he wore this in all these other films? Why is he wearing it now? The reason is absolutely awesome. It's a great reason. There is actually a reason why he's doing it. He hasn't just done it because it's, you know, a Deadpool film. We're just going to put him in this suit. There's a reason he's got this suit. And um, and that reason, that, that works. Especially for the storyline, for Wolverine's storyline in all of this. The TVA. The TVA is probably as mysterious in this as you could probably expect from the trailer so people who've seen season one and two of loki's if people have seen the end of loki season two will know how the tva operates right now they completely operate differently to how they used to um so it is a bit weird seeing the tva the way they are in the trailer this reveals obviously uh what is going on in this tva here the writing in this film was amazing. I love the writing in this film. Everything worked. Every joke hits. With me, I am a massive Marvel geek. I've been watching it ever since I was uh, able to watch these kind of films. I think Blade was the first film that I watched that was Marvel. It was like an 18 at the time. And I uh, got into what Spider-Man, X-Men, all those kind of films. And I was like... I love these films. I love these films so much that I watch them over and over and over and over again. So you get to you get to know these films kind of off by heart in a way. And when you have a film like this, Deadpool and Wolverine, um, it refers to these older films. It's uh, it hits it hits in the heart and uh, and especially when there's like an inside joke uh, and made it made me laugh, made the whole cinema laugh. That was one of the awesome things as well. So. There wasn't things that I was just getting. There were things that the whole cinema was getting. 
everyone was laughing, even though some like in real in real life issues going on with certain actors and stuff like that. Um, that those were references, and it was it was funny. It was funny. There's there's, there's one moment that kind of it, it, it was said so quickly that <laughs> it was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, massive, yeah. massive plus here. So Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Always, always going to be amazing in their roles. We know this. We were familiar with their work. But I am not familiar with Emma Corrin's work. And she plays Cassandra Nova. And I was so shocked at how awesome this villain was. So, uh, Thanos, Thanos is up here, guys. For me, Thanos is up here as a villain. His whole arc in the, uh, in the MCU is incredible. Uh, I would put her just under. I would put her just under because her her acting skills, her motives, her powers. Oh, okay. So uh, I don't think Thor: Love and Thunder did uh, Gore the God Butcher any justice. To be fair, Cassandra Nova definitely my second favorite villain in the MCU. Uh, I will tell you that 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 was that is because of the way they portrayed the character, the way Emma Corrin acted delivered the lines uh just 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 incredible just incredible this is a film this is a film that i'm going to go back and watch again and again i am going to take more in because i was just in awe of everything there was things that i may have 100 percent have missed some things i know i have because i was just so shocked i was like whoa okay 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 action wise this film had so much action in it it was just incredible. Like the the tension between Deadpool and Wolverine, it blew over. Okay, the action scenes, and I put an S on it, is uh, is well choreographed, and I loved it. I didn't want it to end. Didn't want it to end. It was so so good. This uh, this this duo, this duo, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, well done, well done on giving us this film given us this portrayal of Wolverine and Deadpool. Um, I'm, I'm struggling. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think there's a lot when I do, uh, I do reviews and I do kind of just come out of the cinema um, videos. I'm struggling to think what people won't like. Me, me I'm going to give this, I'm going to get this film's a 10 out of 10 for me. This, I, I can't think of right now. I can't think of any issues with this film. This film works. Deadpool goes on his journey. Wolverine goes on his journey. There's a reason for both of them to be together, to go on the journey together and to kind of, to kind of be in the film together, to be in the film together. That's, that's how I'll, how I'll word it. I'll word it. I have not been this happy about an MCU film since uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay. So we all know Infinity War, Endgame, Pinnacle, pinnacle cinema okay guys uh i love spider-man no way home i am like i've got loads of spider-man tattoos everywhere and there's tons of spider-man here as well um i love spider-man so so much and what they did with spider-man no way home we give us those uh you know andrew garfield toby Maguire, tom holland moments and also with the villains from all of their universes as well absolutely incredible spoilers <laughs> absolutely incredible and then i just don't think they have hit that height since we've had like you know season one or two of loki we've had one division um we've had those kind of moments as well where those tv shows on disney plus have been like amazing amazing writing i think season two of loki is like probably the best writing that marvel have done uh, and I think this film now is on that level. It's on that level. And where we've got in the trailer where he's saying, um, you know, uh, Marvel Jesus. Uh, Marvel Jesus. It gives us hope that from this point onwards, we can move forward and get what we want out of these MCU films now moving forward with the multiverse saga. The mutant saga is coming up. So let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. There is so much blood guts, deaths, 
action in this film. It's just incredible. It's incredible. And when I say deaths, I just mean by, you know, by, you know, extra actors. Not like I'm not talking about main characters or anything like that, because that's spoiler territory. You know, if that happens, that happens. But I'm not going to tell you if it happens. Characters in this film where I didn't expect them to stay around for as long as they did. And these characters actually have a purpose to being in this film. They have been definitely handpicked to be like, we want to put this character in this film and we want to do this with this and we want to do this with them. We want to do this with them. And as a group, we can do this. It's it 100% it, it has been thought out rather than just sticking. There we go. Let's just put that in there because he was in this film. Put that in there because she was in this film. Put that in there and, and then it really take away from the actual whole story arc, but it actually fitted the story arc. I'm going to say thank you for those uh, those moments, those characters. I want to keep this short, guys, because there's so much to say, and it is genuinely 99% spoiler. I've, I want to say I really, really enjoyed this film. I enjoyed the merch, drinking my Fanta out of this Deadpool head. <laughs> Incredible. I enjoyed my merch from Odeon. Thank you guys so much. All I will end it by saying, enjoy the film. We started it with Wolverine saying this. Let's f go. Don't put any spoilers in the comments, guys. Do not put any spoilers in the comments. Thank you for watching my video.